Good morning. Good morning. And we're talking with Oscar Socia. That's right. I like that. Right, well, I don't even talk about what we're going to talk about yet because I want to talk about our names. Mm-hmm. It's, it's to me, it's it's a it's a tribute just to talk to another Oscar. There's not yeah, you ma- don't get too many to to do that, do you? That's that's right. There's not many of us. Right. And and uh, we talked a little earlier, and you were saying your dad's name is Oscar. My dad. My dad. Name? My dad's name is Oscar. We should have an Oscar festival. I hey, think. How about that? I think so. It would be unique. Well, they got they got a Bob about all Bob Day, you know. So yeah. We should have an Oscar Day. That's right. We'll, we'll form it. We'll start it. An Oscar Day. Okay. Okay. Anyway, the reason I'm calling you, you have the Bay um, Bay Rama Fish Fly Festival. festival. Correct. And that's in New Baltimore. That's like right at my old stopping grounds. Yeah, it's right downtown New Baltimore. Yeah, okay. I used to live in Mount Clemens for, for years. And, uh, well, I was Baltimore's... born and raised in Mount Clemens. Oh, were you? Yeah. See? And we never knew each other. How about that? Okay. This is weird. Yeah, I graduated from St. Mary's High. Oh, that's why. So you went to St. Mary's, I went you to, went to Ma- Mount, Mount Clemens, Clemens High. You oh, know. okay. Of course, were you in the Glee Club or the, the or at all over at the uh, Oh, no, I can't, I can't hold it to in the well, book see, the, There you go. There you go. I, I went to St. Mary's, but I never, you know. It's it's amazing, you know, what you find out. Yeah, true. <laughs> anyway, speaking about the Bay Rama Fish Fly Festival, that's a that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. Now, I remember growing up, every time we go out for an ice cream or something, right around this this time of year, you'd go out there and you would you would go to the ice cream parlor or wherever, and the walls were covered with fish flies. Well, you know, uh, Oscar, uh, <clears throat> we changed we we came to that name in 1974. And oh, that year was the worst year of fish flies. Of okay. course, you oh, you knew at that time we held our festival a week after the Fourth of July. Oh, okay. And now we moved it up, and we moved it up again because we last year we had extremely warm weather, and the fish flies were out early. Yeah. So we moved it up again. So hopefully, we're going to miss them. Oh, okay. So there won't be any fish flies to uh, honor this year. Well, we'll have a few. They'll make their appearance, but they're not like <laughs> not like they used to. Now, do you just out of curiosity, before we talk about the festival, do you have any idea what fish flies um, are good for? <laughs> <laughs> You know what the ecology does for the ecology? I don't know. The, the fish feed on them when they, when they come out. Oh, okay, uh, so, uh, so they're food then. Other basically. than that, I guess they're the food for the fish. Because they only last for like a week, don't they? Yeah, well, they're, they're heavy for a week, but they last about three weeks and they, they decline, you know. Oh, okay. But at that time, you know, fishing isn't any good because they do feed on the fish flies. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So so the, the fish like get their delicacy once a year. With I fish guess flies. so. Okay, so what? tell me what the Fish Fly Festival is all about. Well, yeah, of course, you know, this is my 29th year. Okay, and and uh, the fish fly festival has been in existence. Uh, it was called Bayorama, called, called Bayorama, okay, Bayorama. Now it's a Bayorama fish that. fly festival. I remember that now. Right. Bayorama, yeah, okay. Yeah, and it's been in existence since 1965, and and I started to work on the festival in 1968, and and I'm I'm here. I guess I'm married to it. You might say. Huh? Okay. But, you know, right now, especially this year and I think in the future, we're trying to make it more and more a family festival. Okay. And, uh, with, and in fact, I, I hear the games out there for the kids now. They've got tractor pull and big wheel race and so forth going on right now. Okay. And each day they have, you know, different programs for the kids, uh, teenagers on down. And, and this is what we'd like to see. The families come out here. And, of course... Um, we have held it in downtown New Baltimore all these years. But I don't know if you recently know, we recently purchased 40 acres from the Archdiocese of Detroit. It's still in the city, and this is going to be a city park, soccer fields, baseball fields, uh, uh, tennis courts. And uh, probably in two years, we'll make our debut out there. Oh, and really? the festival will be held on this 40 acres, and that's where it will be permanently held. Oh, really? Yeah, well, we're, but, but New Baltimore is such a cool place, though. So. Yeah, the thing is, our problem here is parking. Oh, okay. We have right. limited parking, and out there we'll have ample parking. Now, aren't you, like, based right on the main drag there, too? Pardon me? Isn't it, like, based right on the main drag Oh, there? yes. Yeah, yes, okay. Uh-huh. There's, a lot, there's a lot more industry over there now than there used to be when I was there 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of... lot of. So is, is that is that bad, though, or I think it would be, it'd be a good thing, though, wouldn't it? That well, you would bring it there and for the, for the uh, other businesses to... Uh, you mean you mean our festival out there? Yeah. Oh yeah, it has its good and bad points, and hopefully that you know once we're settled there, it'll work out well for us. I said basically we're going out there because of parking. Okay. And we're very limited here, <laughs> and and uh, but we draw a big crowd. Okay, yeah, because I I remember the Bayorama. I remember that now. Mm-hmm. Now you have like everything out there, like the uh, um, rides for kids and the whole bit. Oh, right? they have the rides for kids. They have a huge festival tent. 
and, and they, like today, the Chamber of Commerce met in the festival tent today, and that was night. Nice. Saturday is going to be especially nice for kids. They have all kind of programs in the festival tent for the kids, okay. uh, and it, it's really nice. Okay, so that's going on now till till what till when? Through Sunday. Through Sunday. Uh huh. Okay, so if they want to take a trip now, they can uh, go to see yeah. the. Yeah, and you know it's <laughs> nice that they can uh, if they bring their children in and you know all day rides from noon until ten. You know they can get a wristband and it's twelve dollars, which oh, okay. is really nice for a family. You know yeah. they'll know what they can spend. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, so did, just out of curiosity, did you change the name for more of a, a catchier name, just to, so people well, would say what we, fish we changed fly. our name in, in 1975 because it was 74. Actually, we had so many fish flies, we had to close down the rides because the rides were just slipped. Filled, you know, on the yeah, cog wheels, yeah, yeah. they wouldn't spin. They would just spin <laughs> and not move. So yeah. they had to close down at nine o'clock. And we thought, oh, my gosh. And we had uh, TV uh, 2, 4, and 7 out here, you know. We took advantage of that and changed the name to Fish Fly. So it's very catchy. <laughs> and people will say, oh, you're from New Baltimore. That's yeah, where they got yeah. that funny festival, you know. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing because uh, the fish flies are just nuts. That's right. So, I mean, I, I, I've never, ever been in I mean, yeah, When we were growing up there, though, you, you, it was normal. You, you were used to it. You knew it was going to happen. Yeah, you, know? It, you know. And but, that's, uh, the, you know, the more the fish flies, the cleaner the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Lake true. Erie, the fish flies are just coming back. Okay. That the Lake Erie is cleaning up. And, yeah, because when I was talking to people around here in Muskegon about fish flies, they didn't even know what they were, yeah, they, <laughs> well, much about them. So. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, Oscar. Okay, Oscar, it's nice talking to you.